Well, scientists are warning this might be a pretty smelly spring and summer for some along the East Coast. And that's because this long line of red, green and blue is seaweed growing in the Atlantic and headed right for Florida. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton speaks with a marine biology professor who says while this might stink up beaches, it could be lucrative for the fishing industry. It's February and the beach is packed. This is Florida. Andrea Rodemaker grew up on St. Pete Beach, but she says she's noticed a change in these sandy shorelines. It's a beautiful day. Andrea Rodemaker grew up on St. Pete Beach, but she says she's noticed lately a change in these sandy shores. Beaches used to be so pristine. I grew up here. I've been here for years and it's just sad to see that. One of her gripes, seaweed. It's sad. I walked up today and I was like, oh my gosh, all the seaweed. It's really sad. I don't know why it's so nasty. And this is nothing compared to the seaweed growing in the Atlantic Ocean. It's called sargasm. According to scientists, it's about 8.7 million tons. This is the biggest sargasm bloom ever, and it's still growing with no way to stop it. The best we can do is to watch it, monitor, track it, and get prepared. To give you perspective, this picture on the left was taken at a beach in Cancun in 2018. The picture on the right was taken this February. That's disgusting. It would not be a good place to be if that's hanging around for sure. That bloom is heading towards Florida's east coast. In some cases, you have a lot of sargassum pile up in very thick amount. And under Florida sunshine, it may get rotten in a couple of days. It smells so bad and nobody wants to get close. The good news, it's not toxic like red tide, which means no dead fish or people getting sick. USF marine biology professor Charmin Hu says that's not good for the tourism industry, but the fishing industry is a different story. Fishermen love that. They, they go chat sargassum because there are a lot of fish. And uh, for turtles, you know, for the animals, turtles, it's great because the turtles love sargassum. The scientists expect that bloom to reach Florida's east coast by the spring. They don't expect it to impact the Gulf Coast, but they are monitoring. JJ Burton, ABC Action News.